always wanted to be a race car driver. Racing is always on my mind. Girls are second and school is third. The fondest memories of those first few races. When you realize that dream, which seemed so impossible from where I started. That's when the light bulb goes off. That's when they're like, oh my god, I had no idea. You can't just want to be the racing driver because it's a cool career. You have to want to win. You have to want to be better. I didn't have family involved. I didn't know how to get involved. I, I basically strong-armed my parents into letting me do some karting, but we really didn't know where to go to get into car racing. See, my father didn't really want me to be a driver. He came from an era that was incredibly dangerous. He was very glad to see that I could get into a racing school, a high-performance driving school. Back in his day, they didn't have any types of schools like that. You know, nowadays, we have these set paths of how you can learn the craft, how you can take these logical steps towards becoming a great driver, or if you want to take it further, you know, become a racing driver. For somebody like me that had didn't come from a racing background, that just dreamed of being at the Indy 500, it was such a clear process, and I went through those steps, and it you know it worked out. Other guys like Brian Herta, Ryan Hunter Ray, we we all kind of went through that same system, and it's a proven model. Now, Skip Barber has been extremely influential in my racing career thus far. We don't have a whole lot of money, and Skip Barber has definitely been able to help us. Currently, I'm on a, a good progression right now, uh, jumping into the IMSA Prototype Light Series. First, I think I have my dad to thank for putting me in a position to, to race carts, but I also have to thank Skip Barber. Without their help, not only financially, but through the advice and the coaching, it was instrumental. I mean, it, I couldn't have done it without it. I, I don't see how it would have worked any other way. One of the most wonderful parts of Skip Barber, particularly in the racing series, is you are, are literally bombarded with information on how you did. Every instructor that goes up to a racer and says, hey, I was in turn seven and here's what you can do better here, is something that goes into that racer's database. The best drivers, the best racers, the champions are the ones who really listened, the ones who really learned, and the ones who applied the feedback that they were given using their own style to be better and faster. You know, I saw credibility there from the instructor group. I saw, I mean, these guys have been where or been on the path that I want to be on, and that's who I need to, you know, tell me how to do it. I knew nothing, frankly. I mean, I'd done a little go-kart racing, but I, I had no technique. I had no, you know, fundamental skill set, and that was provided completely by my Skip Barber experience. The great thing about racing schools and driving schools is that there's an environment where you're encouraged to push the limits. I mean, that's so important that, that you're allowed to experience what a car is like when it's out of control. Because no one really knows how frightening it is to be out of control in a, in a car until it's too late. Strangely enough, uh, driving is the only thing that most people do every single day of their life and don't get any better at. But we have the opportunity to make them better. When they really understand what the car is capable of, when they really understand what they're capable of, that's when the light bulb goes off. That's when they're like, oh my god, I had no idea. The best thing I can say about the instructor group at the Skip Barber program is they're passionate. You know, they're knowledgeable, they know what they're doing, but they really care and they really enjoy teaching the craft of driving a race car, and they're good at doing that. People ask uh, a lot, why Skip Barber? What makes Skip Barber the best school? Um, my honest answer is the instructors. The dedication that these guys have, it's not just a job. They believe in the company. They believe in everything that we do. They believe in the process. They believe in the procedure, and they believe in the student. Go to a performance driving school. Go to a track day. Come to Skip Barber. Don't stop learning.